This is Abe Friedhanser from Awards Radar, and I'm very excited to be speaking with Marquis Richardson about Unprisoned. Wow. How are you, Marquis? I'm excited to be speaking to you. Because awesome. you're excited this... to be speaking to me. That's what you said. I appreciate of, it. Of course, it's true. This show is really cool. Can you tell me what appealed to you about the series and your character in particular? Mm, okay. So first thing I saw was Kerry Washington, Delroy Lindo, Yvette, Tracy, uh, Onyx. Um, the content was great. The script was wonderful. It's provocative. It's important. It's timely. I haven't seen a story like this told in this way, especially what happens after someone uh, goes home. And, uh, you know, specifically with the Mal character, he is someone who is compassionate and his level um, you know, his ability to forgive and understand and surrender and accept just and meet people where they are, but still at the same time, uh, be strong in his boundaries was someone who I didn't know at the time, but someone who I needed to be uh, in my own life when this project came along. So it was a yes for me in multiple ways for various reasons from the beginning to the end to today. Have you found that previous roles have transformed you like this? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, definitely. And that, I think that's one of the gifts of, uh, you know, of, of, you know, I'll just speak for myself, how I work anyway, um, in, in the process of like research and development for different roles and whatnot. I learned so much um, just from people in general, but to also be able to create a character in collaboration with Tracy and the writers, um, I get just as much from that, if not more, um, from developing a character for sure. I enjoy the rapport that your character has with Kerry and with uh, Delroy. What was it like working with them? Ha, thank you. One, thank you. Uh, two, what was it like working with these titans, these icons, Mount Rushmore, Kerry Washington and Delroy Lindo? So day one, it was, <laughs> so my wife told me, she was like, don't be yourself. When don't start talking to people until like episode three, I need you to keep this job. I'm like, ah, get out of here. So day one happens halfway through the day in between one of the scenes is a scene between me, Carrie and Delroy. And I stop in the middle and I'm like, mm, I just want y'all to know, I can't pretend that this is not happening right now. And I'm freaking the bloop out and then i just start rambling to delroy but like how much he means to me in terms of his work in terms of his savvy just in terms of you know for black people and for for black men and me and same thing with carrie just rambling on and on and on and on and delroy's like god bless you brother just god bless you and carrie's like we have time we have so much time and i'm like well i don't know because it's episode one and i just i just want to tell you guys how much you mean to me and i'm just so grateful to be here blah, 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 blah. so all i had to say from that day on they were just so open and gracious um to me with any questions that i had um it was a master class for me and um you know i'm picking their brains about how they do what they do at the level that they do it and still stay sane in this crazy business and in this world and um i am grateful to them forever for just the the knowledge that they allowed me to absorb um, and to share this space with them wonderful well thank you for taking a few minutes to talk to me about this and good luck in the future well thank you appreciate you see you at the next one sounds great <laughs> see you.